site of the world famous first annual international street performance festival busker fest it's wild i mean like it's it, it all happened and they're all gone now and it's it's like a dream almost except for the video that we have but uh it couldn't have gone better we had 55 buskers here from seven different countries and we had 15 feature shows we had two three days of open busking we had buskers coming out of our ears and it was wonderful we didn't have one problem we have almost 70 sponsors, and everyone to the man was pleased with the program. I'm uh, tickled myself because uh, having worked at festivals for almost uh, maybe 20 years now, uh, it's it's no secret that uh, a very high percentage of first-year festivals do a little belly flopping before they get up and run. We had a wonderful, wonderful first year, and uh, I consider it a higher success and my greatest expectations <clears throat> we're now established the fundraising will be so much easier next year everything we have our files we have everything this is a shot in the dark it was a festival for buskers put on by buskers and it couldn't have gone better as you see we have like 80 degree weather uh, I share beautiful women sure. Still working? The Seuss is around us. And, uh, geez, uh, let's but see. Tell me, how did you get your funding for this first, uh, Busker Fest? Well, and what uh, fund is happy about it? The, uh, the whole festival idea actually became legitimate when we received our first grant from the state. Now, the Key West Cultural Preservation Society, which is the initial underwriter and sponsor of this event, is an organization, nonprofit, uh, formed by artists and performers from Mallory Square here in uh, Key West. Uh, the, the CPS, as most people around here call it, applied first uh, to the state, Division of Cultural Affairs, for several different grants. The first grant we received was, in fact, for Busker Fest, I'm proud to say, and it was uh, uh, through this Division of Cultural Affairs that we were able to gain the uh, credentials to go around and raise $50,000 for the rest of the festival. We also received a, a $4,000 plus grant from the Monroe County Tourist Development Council, which is taken out of uh, a 2% bed tax countywide for cultural purposes. The rest of the fundraising we did primarily through uh, business, corporate sponsorships throughout town, everything from uh, $1,000 major sponsors down to $50 mom and pop ads in our program. We uh, started the festival and ended it within a span of three months, a nearly impossible feat as I look back on it now and realize how many of our staff are laying uh, injured in their beds today, but next year we'll know better. and. Uh, we should have a little easier time of it with six months to work on the festival and maybe double that that budget. Um, uh, in terms, of how much support did you get from the city, or was that necessary in terms of the support <coughs> of the city and the local community and the corporation? Well, the local corporations. Um, obviously, raising fifty thousand dollars, or uh, let me say, uh, forty of it at least through the local businesses, uh, through small advertising, tends to paint the picture of how it was a, a very much a, uh, a broad base of support for our festival. We had 70-some sponsors that all either promoted events, sponsored a busker, 
or put an ad in our program or something of that nature. Uh, it was wonderful. It was heartwarming to see it happen because, as you know, this was the first annual, and uh, normally with the first year projects, we have found in the past that people tend to um, want to see if it's going to be established before they get their two cents in there. And they just opened their checkbooks and smiled for us this year and wished us the best of luck. And I think that in itself was uh, a very big part of the reason for the success of the festival. Now, I uh, was talking to the owner of this hotel, at Business Motel, this morning, and he said during the, the period for the festival that all the, uh, the hotel was booked as well as he knows that most of the other hotels around here. Well, what do you think in terms of the visit community and what this means? <clears throat> well, we originally uh, picked this week in January because it's traditionally a post-holiday slump, mid-January, for maybe the first two weeks after the New Year's. Business is generally off, judging by what we check with the hotel motel uh, records here. And the fact that, one, that the hotels and motels were uh, so wonderful and willing to donate to us almost 24 rooms for a period of either five or six days, a considerable in-kind part of our budget. Uh, however, they did get uh, right at, the, the, people coming look, coming right at the same time. Uh, we noticed that when they gave us their, their, as they donated their rooms, it was because of a slack period. And it's because they had rooms last year and were anticipating having empty rooms this year. The fact that everybody ended up booked was a blowing report for our festival, actually. And uh, should be a healthy sign for us in the future. The nice thing about it is we've had really great feedback you know, from our, our sponsors already. That's like two days after the event. Uh, a lot of business. The streets were full, the hotels were full, uh, they ate, they drank. We had, I would have, uh, from preliminary indications, I would say that maybe 65 to 70 percent of our crowd came from the Dade Broward corridor in South Florida, which would be Miami, Fort Lauderdale, up on into Palm Beach. We saturated that area pretty heavy with uh, promotion, radio and TV, and we received a lot of live coverage because, as you know, uh, it's uh, quite an unusual event, and so it's extremely media marketable. Uh, and, and what is the event actually? This is a uh, street performance for all the world, but we're going to talk Right, right. Okay. Uh, uh, in fact, our, one of our major sponsors, Del Rio's Restaurant, which is where we have our headquarters for the festival, reported to me this morning that they tied their best night in the history of the restaurant the night we had a, a show at their place. Uh, tied even on New Year's Eve night. So I'm real pleased with that, and obviously so are they.